Views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. This is your DJ Unga. Hey, 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 welcome to The Consciousness. This is The Consciousness, program brought to you here by uh, DJ Unga. I like to talk to people. I like to talk about people in Fort Wayne. This is what it is. I have a guest with me this evening, and he is, I would say a household name or whatever, but no, but he's a, he's a popular man in Fort Wayne. Everyone knows him. A teacher, a preacher, a poet, uh, uh, an author, uh, a father, uh, 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 everything. An inspiration, a motivational kind of a person. K2. I am Unga, the host of the Jam Rockin' Show and the host of the Consciousness. Talk to the people. Peace and prosperity and all good things. To you, my brother. And I humbly myself, I thank you, sir. And I Bless thank you for the opportunity to be here. Most welcome. And to speak to you about a subject that is all-encompassing and vitally important today. And affects our society. It affects everything that each and every one of us do. As you. Yes. I want to start with um, a poem. Is this from your, your, your new book? From the book, Bone Sutures, Unwiring the Mathematic of Black Body Otherness. Could you hold that book up so that, 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 that they can see that book? I don't know if the lighting is good, but um, that's the book. That's the book. Yes. That's the book. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to find out from you where we can get it when you, after you finish reading. Okay, re re well, I, I, I'd appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You know... Um, we artists. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have to be, we have to promote and push one another. This is called We Come Breathing Winds of Change for Bland, Brown, Browder, Crutcher Families, and others. We come tunnel vision to a many yeared struggle, weeds grown up through concrete, torn up from waiting under weighted law. A mother's son left moldering on ghetto tarmac, her unfailing love unable to keep him breathing, protected from death. Missouri, your unsettling August heat. We come through fields of bullet and word, aching feet, tired arms, signs held screaming. We come looking down gun barrels, fired on from behind police shields, bullet words spoken from between hate's teeth, spit from poisoned tongues. We come through pig whisperers, cointel pro agents intent to disrupt by murder. We come through from an ancient will, from mother love creased streets, we come from alley cemented arcs of fathering work, from child minds twisted to not embrace, but to not their own image, inhabited by an in tell lie gent ain't shant ness. We come undefeated. Resolute children speaking in tongues, raising fear, locked arms walking rejection down, no thought given to standing alone. We come resurrecting Khalif Browder, come power words, principle, Africa, ancient, ancestor, elder, mother circle, family extended, identity. We come resistance, breathing winds of change. We come overstanding acts of faith, moving by spirit, shakers in a holy dance, 
an interdigitated assembly of nappy heads in collective self-reorder, remembering the soul self and soul. We come remembered selves of self, mind in mind. We have always been collective order. Here we come now, breathing winds of change. Man, I want to jump, I want to shout, I, I, I want to do something, because these words, you will agree, are some powerful words. So nicely done. Oh my gosh, I can feel the rhythm in the poem. I can see the colors in the poem. Oh, you are an artist. You just you, painted sir. a mural right here. Thank you, sir. I love that. Thank you. Thank oh you. my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You know, we come, we come out of our experience, okay? Uh, 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 we come, we come. As individuals, we come out of our experience or we come out of experience as a people? We come out of our experience as individuals and sold in a collective, and sold in a people, and sold in a culture, and sold not in a nation, because a nation ain't real. A nation is a fabrication. A nation is just a gathering of... of, of uh, a nation is a gathering of power <laughs> elements looking to control other human souls. Manipulation. Manipulation, yes. For yes. a population. <laughs> yes, manipulation for, for a, a population. population. Yes. yes, yes. And that is so true. You know, all these boundaries that we have as obstacles in the world today, they are not necessary at all. And that's what create the greed in mankind. Now, it's my belief, you know. Um, I remember a time when there was love in a community mm. and the doors weren't locked. Mm. And I could just walk in because I know it's dinner time and I'm hungry and I'm not near my house. And Miss Jane is gonna say, come in here boy and fix mm -hmm. a plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I grew up in the same kind of community. Yeah. That mm -hmm. if you didn't have a dollar in your pocket, um, somebody had your back. Yes. And you could take your little girlfriend out and uh, yes. buy her an ice cream yes. too, and she don't yes. know you ain't had no money. That's the power of community. But community is not what it used to be because of greed. We, because of greed, because of dissociation. People, people grow up in a family and then they leave that family to go someplace to make some money. They leave that family to go someplace to say they get an education and they don't come back and it weakens the family. The basis, the basis of the family, the basis of the family is the connection for community and all communal precepts. Uh, to, to, uh, yes. to togetherness. But uh, uh, can I say this? Like, I'm taking, I for, for, for instance, mm -hmm. I came from another country, mm -hmm. and I came to this country, and I got, well, I liked it, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. I came to the, all the legalities. That was just like frustrating. But I got here, and I like it. Mm -hmm. I became a citizen of uh, 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 this country. This is my home, and my birth country is still my home mm -hmm. because I'm a child of this universe. Mm -hmm. No less than the trees and the stars. I got a right to be here on this planet. Yes, sir, you do. And I don't what you, I don't care what they call this, call this, this section, that section. It is Earth. That's the consciousness. That's the go. consciousness. And that's what this that's program is about. You know, when you are able to walk in the full light of humanity, understanding that humanity is H-U-E-M-A-N-I-T-Y. Not H-U-M-A-N. Okay? That all of us here on the planet... A teacher in his own rights, people, okay, yes. ...share... Yes. We share the wealth of the planet. We share the earth, and we share the rain, and we share the earth's produce. It's a great supermarket. Yes, it's a wonderful supermarket. <laughs> the problem with the supermarket, though, 
is that some folks have come in with their guns and their instruments of oppression and they have taken over the market. And they control the market and Money. they control the labor in the market. See, most people look at you and I and they say, oh, black people. I say, oh, no black people. There's no black land. There's no black land. There's a human land. There is an Africa and there is its diaspora where all of we went to. Yes, that exists. That exists. But it wasn't Africa. Because Africa is a name that somebody else gave to that continent. We used to call it Al-Kebunan. Okay? We used to call it Kemet. We used to call it Ethiopia. Ethiopia. We used to, okay? Ethiopia. We, to, to, to understand ourselves in the universe as children of the universe, we must understand, we must go back and understand that these nation states that we have pledged allegiance to are a bifurcation of our spirits. They cut our spirits in two because we owe allegiance to ourselves and our family and then we owe allegiance to the nation state. Selfishness. It is more than selfishness. But, but, it's but, more than selfishness and greed. It's avarice. It's... it's Manipulation. Manipulation. Okay. For it's, a population. <laughs> when you take a people who take another people and take another people's land, because we can't forget, Unga, we can't forget that this land that we are on belongs to another people. And yes. it is a stolen place that we are living in. Yes. And we live in it as though it is our sacred space. Because we came it. and took it. Yes. Or, or the other people before us came and took they it. They came and they took it. Then they brought us to along. To not <laughs> acknowledge the history of the land that we are on and the wealth that has been generated from this land is to cut the consciousness is to twain the consciousness. Right. So we are we are deprived of, of a heritage. Yes. We are deprived of a heritage and a wealth. And when we say we, we're not just talking about you and me and no, people who no. look like we. We're talking about everybody who's sitting here. Yes. Everybody yeah. who is privileged. Yeah. And don't. Here. Uh, uh, I just want to talk to the folks in the uh, uh, audience. Don't feel uh, left out. At all, because this is intense right here. Okay, so K2, we're going to go to a little break right here, okay, man. And break, uh, break. we come right back and pick up on, on okay. this. And right. I'm loving it.
And if you're just joining us, this is The Consciousness. Welcome to The Consciousness. And my guest this evening with me is none other than K2. You know the brother. Say hi to the brother. Hi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're having know. fun here, you know what I mean? Uh, but K2, uh, we, we, we've covered a uh, 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 powerful topic, you know, in, in the first little segment there. Um, but, you know, I want to jump the gun here because I'm itching about this. Because uh -oh. this, this affects me. This, uh, I think there's so much more we can do. There's a problem in our society. There are too much of young people, not black people, not white people, all people that are just roaming around. They have no vision. They have no, no, some of them are not educated enough to get a job. Some of them are, they don't want a job. Some, I don't know, but I, 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 I feel for the youth today. You've been in the school system, you know, you try to teach them drumming and all like that. And I've gotten comments from people because they think you and I look alike for some reason, you know. <laughs> and I get that a lot, you know. And uh, they say, how's the drum going, man? I say, oh, I'm not that guy. You ain't? No, I'm not that guy. But I know who you're talking. Mm -hmm. I never met the man. But here it is. We're on the same stage now, you know. But... What do you think uh, 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 about what's going on with the youth today? I mean, wh what is the problem? I don't think there's is any it us? difference. Is it us? We didn't live a good enough life exemplary for them to follow to fashion I think it's up. more than that. It's definitely more than that. It's Did we, we fail as a father? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I yes, was we in have. That moment. We have. We have failed. Um, but... It's deeper than what appears to be failure. When we, when we say that the youth today are lost, uh, uh -uh, I ain't buying it. The youth today are the same youth that I was in 1950. They ain't no difference. They ain't no, the primary difference is digital. That's the difference. Technology, that's the difference. Spirit-wise, they ain't no difference. At 15, I was, these young boys that you see in the street. Oh, man, it's crazy, though, when you look at them. It ain't crazy. It's, it's. To be expected. It's natural to the environment. Why? So, because that's what the environment has engendered and produced. Okay. So you're saying they are just simply products of their environment. They are products but, but, of but their environment. What, what, uh, what's up with, with, with a kid that come out of that environment and end up being a lawyer? Or a... Uh, 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 doctor did he it, it, it was somebody it his parents? touched him somebody touched that child somebody gave them their humanity three months old I was three months old mm -hmm. when I was touched okay my mother was 18 years old could not take care of me my father was in the service he couldn't take care of me. My mother put me in the hands of a 77-year-old elder in a foster home who raised me and stayed with me until she was 30, until I was 33 and she was 100. That's wow. when she knew. She became mama. She knew she was mama all along. Mm -hmm. She knew then at 100 that I had enough sense to not need her physical presence. She didn't have to and worry she, about that's you right. anymore. That's right. You but know between funny? that time, between, between three months and 21 years, mm -hmm. I was all of them kids that you see in the street. All right. 
The only thing I didn't do was push product. I didn't push product, mm -hmm. but I would stick you up. Mm -hmm. I would break into your house. Mm -hmm. I would do whatever I had to do. To survive. To survive and feel good about myself. That is, Amongst to push your peers. back. Yes, to push back the fear that was driving my personality. Because it was all about personality. It wasn't about An image. spirit. An image, personality, yeah, yes, yeah. image. Mm -hmm. Image is personality, mm -hmm. it's all about that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about what was inside because what was inside was telling me something different. And you were fighting that. And I was fighting it because I didn't know how to make it fit into the insanity that I saw. So, the ancestors, my brother, touched me, said, huh, we're going to sit you down for a little while and let you think about this. I was convicted at 21 of a murder I did not commit and sentenced to die in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I sat on death row for five years. In that five year period, I came to life. That was the rebirth. That was the point at which I understood that I was number one, a human being, that I was number two, an African man in the world, number three, that I was at battle, at war, with capitalism and that I would be with that the rest of my life. And had that to come I to had to, to accept that. I had not to accept it, but to figure out how to work with it and stay here in the world as a positive force and not go postal. Maintain See, your sanity. Maintain my sanity yeah. and not adopt the insanity that was prevalent in the society. I came up be in the world, but not off the world. That's in, right. In, 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 that's in a right. sense, like that's right. you are one that's person in a crowd of a thousand. Right. And that's what my first yeah. spiritual yeah. teacher yeah. taught me. Yeah. You learn how to be in the world, but not of it. And, but not of it. Yes. Yeah. 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 And yeah. so it's that. So when I look at young people today, I see myself. And I know that if you touch somebody, if you give them of your humanity and Require them of some them love, uh, their uh, humanity uh, 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 that a bond will develop. Brother, listen. At 70 years old, I jumped on a motorcycle. This is after my work life was done. I'm tired of working. The children are grown. It's an empty nest. I jumped on the You're motorcycle. 70? I'm 73. You're 73. Uh -huh. Okay. I jumped on a motorcycle. I'm okay. Well, you, what do they say? <laughs> Y'all don't. Y'all don't age well. You don't crack or right. something. <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. We, you know, we just <laughs> messing here, but that's what uh, y'all say. At, at 70, I jumped on a motorcycle and rode across country. I did that because there was a lingering hesitation and fear after seven decades. That fear had to be conquered. It had to be quelled. And the only way for me to do it was to go meet people. The mm. fear was of people. Mm. Okay? The fear was of people. And so I drove across country, 48 states, 382 days. I didn't have one negative experience in more than a year. The consciousness that was was elevated to a higher level. That's when the political went out of my speech. I had to drop the political because there is no resolution for we in the political. So is religion to an extent. Religion is political. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, you know it, 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 it's funny. I grew up in the islands, mm -hmm. and you get your butt torn up when you do something mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. At that time, I'd say, man, my mom is so brutal, man. <laughs> I, I wish she wasn't around, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. you know? And, and, and if the neighbors saw you do something, and go tell your mama, you walking with her, sitting there and say, go out to that tambourine tree and bring me two switches. That's right. 
That's right. I said, for what? He said, go. Mm -hmm. Don't sass me, boy. Mm -hmm. I got to go out there. She said, I stand and turn around. Mm -hmm. No, look at me. Mr. Brown, so and so and so and so, what happened? I told you, say, you were wrong. When whatever you do outside of this house, you represent me. That's right. This family. That's right. You can't walk and 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 and, and, right. and, and do that. You, you you know you can't do those things. And you got to respect your elders. Mm -hmm. And she got to touch my butt up for mm -hmm. that. You mm -hmm. know we, we that's how we we. Grew, grew Grew That's up. how you grew up. That's how you were taught. And, and, and today, because there was consequences when you go and do something with mm -hmm. your boys. Mm -hmm. Man, uh, mm -hmm. it's, you know, get beat. and they're not going to do that. There's a fear right there. You, you're scared of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're not doing that. You know of all that, but you're not doing that. You're not into that. And some of your boys say, I don't care, though. Oh, well, my mommy don't see, she don't see. <laughs> but her parents... His parents brought him up differently. Maybe they really don't right. care. Right. But I have to think about, well, it's not the happiness I'm having here amongst my friends. It's what will happen when I go home. Mm -hmm. If somebody see me and say, nah, I think I want to do that. Now, the woman been dead a long time now. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'm going to do something in life as a grown man. Mm -hmm. And I say, Oh man, why are you standing there looking at me? Because I feel her so mm -hmm. strong in, in my spirit. Tell me, no, 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 no. Right. Well, Our ancestors are we, with us. They're with us at all, at with, all times. They're, they're with they're us. They're here. They're and those here. before us that we don't know, they are our guides. Yes. Yeah. Will we disrespect them when we don't listen to, 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 to them? To and you know what? From Let's make this clear though. We're not just talking about black people. No. We're not talking about us. No. We're talking about you and you and you and you. But what we you. have to do, what we have to be clearly conscious of. Language is cultural. All of us, all of we speak English, but all of we have different concepts of how that English works in the society. Yes. And so we have to go back to our grounding to our roots. Our roots, our roots, our roots yes. come through the ocean mm -hmm. to the land. Mm -hmm. It's all intertwined there, sir. Everybody's hair yeah. came through the ocean to the land. To the land. Okay? What makes us different? Nothing. What we think makes us different. If you pay attention, <clears throat> if you pay attention to the things that people produce from their mouths, people will say, I think so and so and so. I believe so and so and so. When people say, I think and I believe. It's a different response. I, yes. Yeah. Because what works is I know, I do. I do. I know and I do. And I do. People who are speaking in the I know and the I do are people who you can, who I can work with and possibly trust. Mm -hmm. People who are talking about I think are not living in the present. They're not, yeah. They're living in the past. Uh or, a future, or in the future. A future that they can't get to. They're trying to create the yes. future. Yeah. Yes. So community, when, <laughs> when Miss Jones used to whip my butt because I was out there in the street doing something I had no business doing, mm -hmm. I understood that that was an extension of my mother, that that was my community correcting me. I knew that I didn't want to accept it, but I knew that and I respected that. You know what's funny? The same things you're saying happen in the island. That, that That's what it, it is. But this happened here in America with you. Yes. So you see? What, what God they say? One God, one aim, one, one destiny. destiny. Okay, we are the same people. It's the same people. We the same people. Whether you're in Nigeria, 
Kenya, e Ethiopia, Ethiopia, South Africa, Brazil, Uruguay, Jamaica, Bahamas, wherever, Europe. One, one where people. We are one people. The matter for, for my country is out of many. Out of many, one people. One people. Yeah. See, and what I learned going across country is when you speak to consciousness and behavior. The universe rewards the you for The universe that. Rewards, rewards you for that. I dealt with, I would say very easily, 85 to 90 percent of the people who I dealt with when I was on the road was people who called themselves white. I had no conflict. I had acceptance. I had relationship. Now, don't well, talk to me about racism no. because whenever you talk about the ism, you're talking about you're splitting yourself. I am yes. not going to be split. Now, ain't no isms. No, it, it, no, it, 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 no isms. No, no. No legitimate isms. <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. legitimate isms. Yeah. You know, you know the, the funny thing about it, we have too much labels that we have to contend with. Too many labels. So what happens when we remove the labels? There'll be more freedom of expression. There'll be more That's freedom right. of... There'll, there'll be more education. Yes. Yes. There labels and borders, man. Labels and borders. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, as individuals living in a society which is a collective... How do we impress that collective to be better than it is? I, I, I guess we have to start to the younger ones which are more adaptable to change or not so set in the bad ways or then I, 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 I use a higher strategy to control those that are still in their 18, 19 and, and those are the last ones. Those are the ones that are picking up the, 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 the jailhouse down here for no reason. Oh, there's a reason, but it ain't their reason. It ain't their reason. <laughs> it's manufactured. In the, in the manufactured it's reason. It's manufactured. Which, which they fall yes, and victim they're to. Operating. If you operate within a paradigm, you are going to be subject to that paradigm. Yeah. If you're operating within the falseness that exists, that tells you it is real, then you are going to be a product of the falseness. The political spear is not real. No. It ain't real. That's the boogeyman. That's the boogeyman. <laughs> okay, and that's the the boogeyman is what we keep running to. Yeah. Yeah. And they keep throwing they keep throwing at us the civil rights movement. Why? Yes. And act like they care. African people rose up and said, we want to be human. Yeah. The mistake we made was we thought the law could make us human. Law can't make you human. Law can't do nothing but make you a slave. There's a higher law. Get you incarcerated. The people who wrote those documents that everybody says that they are uh, 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 attracted to and living their lives by. The finger that wrote those that declaration, who was higher principles working? Mm -hmm. They they wrote one thing, but it meant something else. And it was written different places than than just where. That's a messed up part of history too. With that, yes. that, that, that I think a woman signed out uh, on one of those forms. If I'm not, the well, well, I ain't want to oh. say that here now, but you know, <laughs> you never know. Hey. But you know, somehow we're. Forgotten the woman in our society, I think. Is it that she won't take her role in society? I mean, is that, isn't that she won't stand up for, for the power that she holds? I, 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 listen, I do not be guided by the false images of the manipulators. I understand that the power in my life, personally, culturally, racially has been the African woman. Mama. Clearly. Mama. The strength. Yes. The yes. glue. Yes. 
the whole and the motivating together. force yes is that yes. feminine energy yes it's clear um you know who muta baruta is of course muta baruta said man need to get back to their femininity that's right the, the feminine side of them and a lot of people couldn't understand what he meant and thought that uh you know you should be you know gay gay mm -hmm. yes sir uh, you, you know but no it is get in touch with that within yourself and knowing how powerful the woman is well, we're going to run through a little break here okay. before getting proud for Let's break. Over. Hey, we'll be back, <laughs> man. It's the consciousness. <laughs> Welcome to the consciousness. Welcome back. Yeah, um, you know, I'm DJ Unga, and this is my guest, K2. Hey, early on I said, uh, I, I think I want to build a crown for, for this man <laughs> because, you know, he's so intelligent, he's so smart, he's so powerful. I, I mean, he has done a lot in this community for for young kids growing up. At one time, he took a group to Africa. Yeah. And there were a bunch of white kids with, with, with yes. it too. Yes. And I watched that in the local television and I say, oh my gosh, this brother is powerful. Yeah, 
You've done a lot, sir. You've well, done a thank lot. You. Thank you. Thank yes. You, thank you. Yes. Anyways, saying this and saying that, there's, a, there's another topic here I, I want. I love music. Mm. I love all kinds of music. But I have a passion to jazz. Mm -hmm. Because jazz is like, is like a blood that flows through one's body. Uh. It, 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 Mm, it's so poetic, yes. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And after that rhythm take you, then you start to see colors. You're painting a picture. Uh -huh. Music has color. Yes, it does. Like a, like yes, a mural. Does. Yes, it does. It's so fascinating. You hear it and it's there and you can see it. And it's done and it's gone. And there's another piece. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when I paint with paint on a canvas, it's there forever. And sometimes it's... You don't even look at it for you expect it to be there and you know it's there. But music. Yes, they call music the universal language. And when all things shall perish from under the sun, music alone shall live. Oh, yeah. But it was first. Because. Now, yes. take this back, take us back here now. You are involved in jazz in Fort Wayne. Tell us about that, please. Uh, in August of last year, Michael Patterson, and myself. Mm -hmm. Mike is a uh, jazz bassist. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike's a bassist, not a jazz bassist. He's a bassist. He's a guitar player. Mm -hmm. uh, and we spoke about what's missing in the community. Uh, and what's missing is a place for musicians to go and play Jam. their music. Not be confined or have their inspiration modified by the commercial uh, requirements okay. of the okay. of the uh, places, Decent, the but venues that they're playing. Stuff. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's not censorship. Mm -hmm. It's self censorship. Self censorship. Okay. And it's self censorship because if you're playing in a supper club. Your, your background to the conversation and to people having their meal. Okay. If you're playing in a bar, your background to the activity in the bar. Yes. Music as background has a purpose. It's not its primary purpose. No. Its primary purpose, as I understand it, coming out of the 60s and the 70s during the free jazz movement, mm -hmm. um, was to communicate, to tell stories without speaking the words. It's like a newspaper, so to speak. To carry the music. vibration of the time forward as interpreted in an art form. Experience, yes. yes. Okay? And so and so um, Mike and I decided to launch a Big Apple Jazz Club. Mm -hmm. A Big Apple Jazz Club happens the second Sunday of every month except January, August, and December. Okay. Okay? Um, we ha are going into our seventh concert uh, on May 13th on Mother's Day. How appropriate can we be? And you're going to have to repeat that again yes, for, for the yes. benefit of my people. Okay, out we're going, mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, featuring the Alicia Powell Quartet. And Alicia is a pianist here in the city, mm -hmm. uh, well known pianist and vocalist, uh, composer, and arranger. Uh, and she's going to be playing with her quartet for Mother's Day. Um, and uh, it's at Wonder Comma Company. On Fairfield Avenue, folks who've okay. been here for a while know where that know is. the old Casa D'Angelo. Well, the old Casa D'Angelo is now an art studio. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, it's the people friendliest venue on the South Side. Good. Okay. So that's where we do our. That's where we're doing our work. Soon we're gonna have a lot of tourists coming into Fort mm -hmm. Wayne. I, I imagine you know this r river thing, right? You know, so there'll be more people um, moving here for for jobs and for right. residents and all like that. And, and these people are coming from places where they have jazz clubs, yes. like maybe four or five on one street. Right. 
you, you, you know, right. they may be small, but you can go in there and, and, and hear different bands, jazz bands, you know. Yeah, and we would like to, we would like to have a dedicated venue. That's what we are. We're a dedicated venue for artists who want to bring the inspiration of their work forward, who want to play and make the mistakes that push the movement, push the music bring forward. Bring jazz back. Okay. So that that's that's our angle there. Yeah. But you were talking about young people earlier. Yes, and, we're getting back and, to that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Young people, young people, they're the vital force in the society. They're what young people's energy pushes the society forward. Well, that's why it bothers me so much about where what they're doing, what I'm visualizing, but the, that, you know, because they are our future. Yes, but. The focus, the manufactured focus of the media is wrong. The focus is on them How can we as doing something. That? We have to do it in our daily lives. We, we, we reach we, out. To we need to recondition them. We need, we need to recondition ourselves. To it's not the youth. It's us. We fail as appearance. I said that before. We fail as elders. As elders. We fail as adults. We may succeed as parents in raising children who don't go into the system. It's becoming fewer and fewer because the system needs to gobble up our children to consume our vital force. K2, mm -hmm. please hold it. So, in a sense, the system is programming our children to their benefit in their whole political yes. scene. Yeah. So it's not what we say to them matters anymore because, oh yeah. So, oh my gosh, to be young in this time. To be young in this time is to be in a critical place of opportunity. But that opportunity can't... <laughs> the me that you are giving all these accolades, that ain't, that ain't me. I'm, I'm just a simple brother who's living his life according to the experience that he's had and the obligation I have but to no, have ancestors up, that know? have <laughs> raised me. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, <clears throat> The, the, the mother who touched me and the elders in the community who touched me left me with the responsibility of touching somebody else. And so that's how we do it. Those young people who went to Africa, that was simply the elders reaching through me to touch them. It ain't me. I'm just the conduit. We the are simply, the that's line. it. We, and line. if we stop imagining ourselves as more than we think we are, we, have we might get back to being able to be community and kick and put the politicians who are there handling the community trust. We might be able to separate them from the magicians who have come in <laughs> to control their minds. The and tricksters. their votes, the mm -hmm. tricksters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's incumbent upon we to do that. We have to stop blaming our young people for the mistakes that we have made. My generation said we were going to raise from the African cultural perspective. We were going to raise institutions that freed us. We ain't raised no institutions. Mm -mm. We became reliant upon the law. We became compliant, compliant. to That's the a law. Word, to the law. Okay? Yeah. By yeah. becoming compliant to the law, you ain't going to build nothing. So we fall into suit. The plan worked. The plan Perfect. worked. The plan worked. Yes. The, you know, the, the design, you know, and orchestrate this plan, and it worked. But... I know there is power within the community. Let, from let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me do this. Mm -hmm. This is for... <laughs> Another a, poem, folks. Here a this force thing. of nature. Good. Weeds, hurricanes, black boys. Earth. 
Evening shadows flood the corner. Bodies cling on cement stoops, wedged against light poles, hoop de leaners, young black boys rapping, itching to get their manhood on. Cop cruisers crisscross the South Bronx, a dimly lit congested street, auspiciously wide open to yet another suspicious bloodbath boogaloo anthology of emergency medicals schlepping a soiled gurney laid bare. The sirens call. We dance this way here in Macadam jungle, streets of cement gray stoop, the black body propitious, its nature exposed in unnatural climes. How? To survive, to thrive, striving to engineer the enemy's demise. Water. Weeds defy concrete, rise from soil-covered asphalt to climb the healing. Feeling sun above blaring street, cracking its gray paved face, much as Irish ivy defies gravity climbing weathered brick in the broken city's heart, much as double dare you black boys death defiant hip hop hearts rail against South Bronx cops on profile chase. Black boys rising from earth from cauldrons of black mothering, from fresh stretched bloodlines, from Harlem River's Mississippi Delta to the Limpopo Basin's Congo Square. Wind, resting deep in Sudan highlands, mountains soaring above a searing Sahara, Nile headwaters spit thunderheads, jet streaming ocean black white caps, birthing hurricanes that smash America again and again, weeds, hurricanes, black boys, nature takes her time in blood transgressed space, fomenting ferment where law, custom, and self-serving social forecast fail, manipulating numbers on the hunt, stalking irreverent black boys, Thunderheads that streak across black macadam and gray concrete, in and out of dim lit asphalt alleys, mauled, murdered, painted mayhem, profile targeted bodies, bull's eyes pinned on their asses, dragging them back to Angola, parchment, Attica, slave camp death marches, situated in dank corridors of gone missing, prison weeds and overgrown project playgrounds, black bodies rendered irrelevant in classroom America, fire. And yet, black boys rise to funnel hurricanes, pulling weeds from cells of diasporic bloodline, breaking open Macadam Street and Cemetery Stoop, Black boys loving life, nature in the broken city's heart. I'm speechless. But guess what? <laughs> Time has come when we got to wrap this up and say this is the consciousness. And here again, we leave you on the edge. That was a powerful piece, and we leave you right there on the edge. It's in your mind. Thank you for letting me uh, tease in your mind and, and, and getting into your head and your houses. You have any last uh, words for the people? This is the consciousness. Peace and consciousness. And consciousness. Yes.